So here we are at the CES, and there's lots of brand new innovations in both display and source technology, proving that there is a need for speed. Let's go check out what's new. Today, it's not just about more color bit depth, so you get more colors, or the refresh rate. It's also about the size and the amount of pixels. The more pixels that you have, the sharper the picture is going to be. So here we are at the Samsung booth, and we're showing a brand new concept that they have called Ultra High Definition LED. This is the equivalent pixel count of four 1080p TVs. So this is a 2160 display, twice 1080p in the vertical, and four times in the horizontal. So now we take a look going from a 1366 by 768, which is your standard high definition, to what we know today is 1080p, graduating to what is going to be the future 2160. Smaller and smaller pixels, as you can see, a tighter picture, more clarity, means higher performance. Well, you're going to have to carry those pixels on a big pipe, as you have in a Monster HDMI. So you can see what a gorgeous picture this TV has, which is a 2160 on a full LED screen, 82 inch, ultra high definition. So here we are in the LG booth, and you can see here, displays are getting better and better. Uh, a standard, now 120 hertz, from uh, a uh, lower res picture to an IPS 120 hertz, now the true motion, 240 hertz. So you can see how the panel display manufacturers are continually upgrading their displays. So here we are at the Panasonic booth, and look at this panel behind me. It talks about all of the attributes of better and better displays. Full-time, 1,000 lines, wider viewer angles, uh, LCD technology with better and better vivid color. So this says it all. The Panasonic message says inspire and connect for higher and higher definition. This is my favorite part of the show. We're here at the Pioneer booth looking at the latest in Blu-ray displayers. I love this because this is where it starts at the source with better and better color. So this is the new Pioneer 12-bit player. A normal Blu-ray displayer is 8-bit, but in order to get more colors, now we've gone on to 12-bit. It says 36 because there are three lanes and you have to multiply times three. Now we go down to this brand new baby here. This is a 16-bit player. That is twice the data rate of an 8-bit player. So if we take a look at what's going on here, 16-bit uh, times 3, they call it a 48-bit player. But here is where we go with better and better pictures for our TVs, better and better displays in order to display them, and pioneers leading the state of the art, in my opinion. One of the things that's been popular here at the show is the constant improvement display refresh rate. Every time you refresh, you gotta write to the screen. And the more you write to the screen, the more data you need to do it, which is why you need a high bandwidth Monster HDMI cable. You can see, just a year and a half ago, it was about 60 hertz. Now it's going to 120 hertz, and you can see where Sony's showing 240 hertz. And you might ask, why do I need that cable? Well, displays always follow source. So if you're gonna be ready for the future and ready to have native, 240 hertz material, you're going to need to have a monster HDMI cable to be able to make that come true. So here we are at Samsung, also showing faster frame rates. If you take a look here, you got uh, an old-fashioned TV, it's kind of like a flip book. The more times you flip, the faster and smoother the video is going to be. So we go from 60 hertz, 120 hertz, flipping a little bit faster, and you come down all the way to the end and you got 240 hertz, and you look at how fast and smooth that motion is. This is a good example of writing to the screen, and every time you write to the screen, then you create another data rate capacity issue that uh, you have to solve with a higher capacity Monster HDMI pipe. 